It all started with Dutch physicist Hendrik Casimir. Right after World War II, Casimir came up with a simple yet groundbreaking experiment. He suggested bringing two metallic plates extremely close together and just waiting. Miraculously, these plates drew closer without any external force, not gravity, not magnetism, nothing. What's the reason behind this? An unlimited source of vibration sitting in the very vacuum of space-time. This was the beginning of understanding quantum fields and their vibrations, which has shaped modern physics. Casimir's work proved that infinite energy permeates the vacuum of space. Sci-fi has often toyed with the idea of harnessing vacuum energy for starship propulsion or even a warp drive. While still a dream, Casimir's 1948 experiment set fire to our imaginations and our understanding of the universe. Casimir had a knack for quantum theory thanks to his mentor, Niels Bohr. Quantum theory makes the universe seem incredibly strange. Particles pop in and out of existence due to quantum fields that soak every bit of space and time. Imagine these fields as a cosmic broth, vibrating constantly. Whenever they vibrate with enough energy, particles appear. When they calm down, particles vanish. But here's the kicker. There's no such thing as a true vacuum. Quantum fields are always vibrating, even when there aren't particles. This constant vibration, known as zero-point energy, means the vacuum of the universe is never truly empty. Casimir's clever experiment showed that between two metal plates held extremely close, there are fewer quantum vibrations than outside them. This imbalance causes a push, drawing the plates together, known as the Casimir effect. So can we harness this vacuum energy? Researchers have been exploring this possibility for years. In 2002, a patent was even awarded for a device that captures energy from the Casimir effect. DARPA has invested millions to understand it better, and the University of Colorado has developed devices that produce power from these quantum fluctuations. Though we're not quite there yet, the potential of vacuum energy is immense. It could revolutionize nanotechnology and even one day make light speed travel possible. Just imagine cruising through the cosmos at the speed of light, all powered by the endless energy of the quantum vacuum. The future of space travel might just be in the tiniest vibrations of space-time itself. Now that we've covered the basics of vacuum energy and the Casimir effect, Let's explore its practical applications and the challenges we face. So, what can we actually do with this invisible force? One promising application is in the field of nanotechnology. Imagine devices so small that they fit within the space between the Casimir plates. These nanomachines could harness the Casimir effect to power themselves, eliminating the need for traditional energy sources. Think of tiny robots performing medical procedures inside your body, all powered by quantum fluctuations. Another exciting avenue is in the realm of advanced materials. Researchers are looking into creating materials that can manipulate the Casimir force to create frictionless surfaces. This could revolutionize industries from manufacturing to transportation. Picture a world where machines operate with near zero friction, significantly reducing wear and tear. But it's not all smooth sailing. The primary challenge is the scale at which the Casimir effect operates. We're talking about distances less than the width of a human hair. Engineering devices that can effectively harness this energy at such a small scale is incredibly complex. Moreover, while the Casimir effect has been observed and measured, scaling it up to produce significant amounts of energy remains a monumental challenge. Current technology is far from being able to create a warp drive or a starship propulsion system based on vacuum energy. Another issue is the unpredictability of quantum fluctuations. While the Casimir effect is a controlled phenomenon, the underlying quantum field vibrations are inherently random. This randomness makes it difficult to develop consistent and reliable energy sources. Despite these challenges, the scientific community remains optimistic. The potential benefits are too great to ignore, and advancements in quantum mechanics and nanotechnology are steadily paving the way. So, while we may not be cruising through the cosmos at light speed just yet, the groundwork is being laid for a future where the Casimir effect could play a crucial role in our technological evolution. In our last segment, we delved into the practical applications and challenges of the Casimir effect, but 
What if we told you that there are other ways to tap into the mysterious realm of vacuum energy? Today we're exploring some alternative methods for vacuum energy extraction that could one day revolutionize our understanding of energy. First up, let's talk about non-linear processing of the zero-point field. Imagine using non-linear elements like rectifiers and antennas to capture and convert zero-point field fluctuations into usable energy. It's a tantalizing idea, but it often faces criticism for potentially violating thermodynamic principles. Next, we have mechanical extraction using Casimir cavities. This method leverages the Casimir effect, where two closely spaced metal plates in a vacuum experience an attractive force due to quantum fluctuations. By manipulating these plates, it's theorized that energy could be extracted. However, practical implementation remains extremely challenging. Another intriguing approach is pumping atoms through Casimir cavities. This method involves moving atoms through Casimir cavities to interact with the zero-point energy. While it doesn't appear to violate thermodynamic principles, it still faces significant technical obstacles and has shown inconclusive results in initial experiments. And finally, let's not forget quantum energy teleportation, a concept proposed by Masahiro Hotta. This method involves using quantum entanglement to teleport energy from one location to another. Recent experiments have shown that this phenomenon is possible, though it remains a complex and largely experimental approach. So, what are the implications of successfully extracting vacuum energy for future technologies? The potential impacts are nothing short of transformative. Imagine unlimited clean energy, drastically reducing our dependence on fossil fuels and helping to mitigate climate change. Advancements in quantum computing could also be on the horizon, leading to more powerful and efficient quantum computers capable of solving complex problems that are currently beyond our reach. Nanotechnology and microelectromechanical systems, or MEMS, could see significant developments, creating highly efficient and precise nanoscale devices with applications in medicine, manufacturing, and more. In the realm of space exploration, vacuum energy could potentially be used to develop new propulsion systems, making interstellar travel more feasible and opening up new possibilities for exploring and colonizing other planets. And let's not forget the implications for fundamental physics. Successfully extracting vacuum energy would deepen our understanding of quantum field theory and the nature of the universe, potentially uncovering new laws of nature. The availability of a new abundant energy source could also have wide-ranging economic and social implications, driving economic growth, reducing energy costs, and improving the quality of life for people around the world. As we continue to explore these alternative methods for vacuum energy extraction, one thing is clear. The future holds incredible promise. After exploring alternative methods for vacuum energy extraction, it's time to ask the big question, how close are we to practical vacuum energy extraction? Currently, we are still quite far from achieving this groundbreaking feat. While the concept is fascinating and has significant theoretical support, several major challenges remain. First, our theoretical understanding of vacuum energy and quantum field theory is still evolving. Many theoretical aspects need to be resolved before practical applications can be realized. The technology required to harness and convert vacuum energy into usable forms is also not yet developed. This includes creating materials and devices that can operate at the quantum level with high precision and efficiency. Then, there is the issue of experimental verification. Many proposed methods for extracting vacuum energy are still in the experimental stage. More research and experimentation are needed to verify these methods and understand their feasibility. Economic viability is another significant hurdle. The cost of developing and implementing technology to harness vacuum energy must be economically viable. Currently, the investment required for research and development in this area is very high, with uncertain returns. Ethical and environmental considerations also come into play. There are potential ethical and environmental implications of manipulating vacuum energy. These need to be carefully considered and addressed before any practical applications can be pursued. Despite these challenges, several promising research directions are being explored. Researchers are investigating ways to better understand and control the Casimir effect, including developing new materials and configurations for Casimir cavities that could enhance the force and make it more practical for energy extraction. Quantum energy teleportation, proposed by Masahiro Hotta, involves using quantum entanglement to transfer energy from one location to another. 
Recent experiments have shown that this phenomenon is possible. Though it remains largely experimental and requires further exploration, the development of metamaterials which have properties not found in nature could play a crucial role in vacuum energy extraction. These materials can be engineered to interact with quantum fluctuations in novel ways, potentially making energy extraction more feasible. Researchers are also exploring the use of non-linear quantum devices to process zero-point energy. These devices could potentially convert quantum fluctuations into usable energy, though this approach faces significant theoretical and practical challenges. Advances in nanotechnology and microelectromechanical systems, or MMS, are crucial for manipulating and harnessing vacuum energy at very small scales. Research in this area focuses on creating highly precise and efficient nanoscale devices. Ongoing research in quantum field theory aims to deepen our understanding of vacuum energy and its properties. This theoretical work is essential for developing practical methods of energy extraction and ensuring they adhere to the laws of physics. So while we are still at the beginning of this exciting journey, the road ahead is filled with potential.